Now talking about the nurses at the Pitt County Detention Center, I think you'll agree with me that a nurse and a doctor is not the same thing. Nurse is it is the doctors who had the correct knowledge to prescribe medications and tell you when you can come off and how to do so when you can come off a of certain medication and how you to do it whether it's a little bit at a time like if you're on lorazepam if you stop cold turkey it can give you seizures if, you, if, if, he, if a doctor is going to take you off lorazepam he said uh, go from taking it every day to once every two days and once every three days and then you can stop these damn nurses at the Pitt County Detention Center. I think Congress needs to pass a law that they need to strictly follow what the inmate's doctor tells them the, the Medicaid follow their medical the medical plan their family physician gives them because they're not doctors. I was on the Razapam. They refused to give me that because they said it was a psycho, it was a uh, psycho, uh, some kind of drug, like a, a drug that could be abused, I guess. So they took, took me off that suddenly. And they would not have. Uh, and they were going to not give me my medication until I, until I threatened to sue them. And instead they put me on Librium, 25 milligrams. I said, I'm supposed to be on Lorazepam. The nurse was uh, saying a voice I could barely understand. This will help you, this will help you with the withdrawal. Get, get over the withdrawal. It took me that I was taking Lorazepam to keep from feeling like I want wanted to pass out. I felt half de equilibrious for a week and a half, two weeks while I'm liberating, but it finally started to kick in and now I'm glad that I'm because that's better than Lorazepam. It's, it's just, it doesn't take immediate effect like Lorazepam did. But I was on Trazodone, sleep at night, and they refused to give that to me. Although the doctor prescribed it, legally prescribed it for me. They were, I did not take, I see, I, I, I thank God I was able to fall asleep every night, except for that first night when I only got maybe uh, 30 minutes of sleep, enough to dream a dream, because they, they, they didn't give me my trazodone. But I found that I could sleep without chastening on. I just want, don't want to have to do it again. Maybe it's because... I don't know. But they... If my mom... The only reason I was able to continue taking my medications is because I still had Medicare, Medicaid, and my mom went and bought them for me. If my mom and dad hadn't bought me my medications, they would not have continued my medications. And they would have let me have another stroke or have seizures because if you come off Plavix immediately it it dramatically increases your chance of having having a stroke another stroke but the nurses they didn't give a flip they didn't give a fucking shit I asked one of them what if I have a stroke because you don't give me my medication well she's like we'll take care of you if that happens we'll take care of you she couldn't have given a... They did, they did not have a spark of humanity. How dare they call themselves nurses. Nurses are supposed to be compassionate, caring people. These nurses... And they were ugly, too. Even the young nurses, they were ugly. Pudgy. Maybe that's why they they were so uncompassionate. Because they... They're, all of them are either too old to get any, get any dick or too ugly for any guy to want to give them any dick. <laughs>
The nurses at the Pitt County Detention Center trying to act like doctors when they're not doctors. Acting like they can arbitrarily change your prescription medication or even deprive you of your prescription medication. There ought to be Congress, there ought to be a law. If you are on a prescribed medication, even if it's cosmetic medication, they ought to have to give it to you. Or that will cost more tax payers dollars. No, no, not if you, if you be selective about who you throw in jail. Not only the people who are guilty of real crimes in jail wait till a court date and everyone else give a ticket and if they miss the court date have an unsecured bond then take them to jail and then they have to pay the not only the unsecured bond but another bond to get out of jail. The less people you put in jail the less tax dollars you use up. If I'm in jail, I'm in your custody, and if something happens to me, bad, that you could have prevented, I'm going to shoot the, I will see to do it, that you get sued, and pay the price. I had my parents bring my medications immediately after I was put in jail, as soon as I could call them, which was on the second day, but it was Three days before those nurses started giving me my medication. And it was only after I told them if I have a stroke, I told my parents to sue y'all. Because you, if, if I have a stroke because you refuse to give me my medications. The doctor says, I'm not quit this medication immediately. It could make me have another stroke or a seizure. They didn't give a shit. And I told when I told them later, I had rather die than have a stroke. I learned later from an inmate towards the end of my stay in jail that they took that as a suicide threat. <sighs> These nurses, they never, ever, 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 ever said good morning or how's your day been. And if you tried to say anything friendly, friendly to them, they just ignored you. I hope every one of them gets a hernia and a hemorrhoid for this. I hate people who do not have compassion. I hate, if I was God, the, the hottest spot in hell would be for people like that with demons that would rip their insides out, their guts out. That's how much I hate people who have no compassion. I hate. I literally hate them worse than I hate Osama bin Laden and the uh, Islamic Jihadists and ISIS. I hate people without compassion more than I hate the genocidal ISIS people.